everyone. Spring has sprung here at the OSBA, and it's also April Fool's time once again. This year, we sent our newest and youngest correspondent down to the State House to hold a jelly bean eating competition with a few of Ohio's senators. Meredith, tell us what's going on. Hello, everybody. It's Meredith Book, and today I am here with President Faber and Leader Shavoni to do the Bean Boozled Challenge. And what the Bean Boozled Challenge is, is some jelly beans, and there's a good flavor and a bad flavor. But they both look exactly the same, and you eat the jelly bean, and you want to get the good one. You get one point for a good jelly bean, you get zero points for a bad jelly bean, but if you get a bad jelly bean, and you eat it, and you chew it, and you swallow it, you get two points. So let's get started. Thanks for being here, President Faber and Mr. Shavoni. So the first flavor is toothpaste or gray flavor. All right, let's go. I get to pick? Mm-hmm. Ready? Berry blue for me. You get one. <laughs> <laughs> it's not berry blue. <laughs> <laughs> not bad, though. Mm -hmm. it's she said face. toothpaste was I've had worse. This right. is baby wipes or coconut? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be used to baby wipes. <laughs> I told her, I said, but the baby wipes don't look like this that I saw this morning. Okay, coconut. I have coconut. I have mm -hmm. coconut too. This is um, rotten egg or buttered popcorn. Ooh. Come on, <laughs> buttered popcorn. <laughs> I got rotten egg. <laughs> I got rotten egg. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty gross. <laughs> this is booger or juicy pear? Come on, juicy pear. I think you got booger. <laughs> Probably the odds are since I've gotten the bad one every single time. <laughs> I got booger. <laughs> that's not juicy anything. <laughs> I'm thinking this is fixed right now. No, I got booger too, that one. <laughs> This is long clippings or line? I need line. <laughs> All right. Hmm. I think this looks like lime. <laughs> All right, let's see. A nice lime, very good jelly bean. <laughs> Once again, not lime. <laughs> this is barf or peach? Oh, oh this, this one peach. might take the bucket. <laughs> Yeah. I'm going with the middle one. <laughs> I thought I, I was going for it too, so. You know what I got. <laughs> I got peach on that one. I got barb. <laughs> I want to beat President Faber, so I got to swallow it. <laughs> well, that one was peach. This is canned dog food or chocolate pudding. <laughs> I don't want to eat this one. <laughs> I'm not sure I would pick either one of those choices. All right, especially since I think books stack them. They're all. Well, it's dog food. I got dog food. <laughs> <laughs> that is really gross. This is stinky socks or tutti frutti. How many more of these do we have? I, I don't know. Oh, okay. stinky socks. Oh, what a choice. <laughs> I think there ought to be a law against this. <laughs> I got this sock. Oh. oh, definitely socks. How can we both? That one might be the worst. Spray or licorice? <laughs> Have you ever had a dog sprayed by a stump? No. I've Thank had God. two. Well, we're gonna find out. Let's get me this one. experience. Mind. Oh no. What were my choices? <laughs> You'll be able to tell immediately. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's bad. President Faber has 16 and Leader Shivoni has 15. This is the last one, moldy cheese or caramel corn. Something I really don't want if it's moldy cheese. It just sounds really gross. Here. Here, you eat that one. How about no. you eat that one? Eat that one. I bet this is moldy cheese. <laughs> what? This is caramel corn. Oh. Gets for the skunk taste. Like we have a tie at 17. And I'm going to thank President Faber and Leader Shivoni for joining me today. 
I hope you guys enjoyed our Bean Boozled Challenge, and I hope you two have access to some mouthwash. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, you do. So give me some rock. Too slow. <laughs> Too slow. Good job. Thanks, Meredith, for that entertaining report. It appears it was a tie, or were they both losers? As you can see, the buckets of shame were on hand just in case they needed to spit out one of those jelly beans. I can vouch, they taste awful. I was really surprised that the senators were able to choke down those nuggets of nastiness. I think it shows their competitive nature and the fact that they didn't want to uh, lose this jelly bean challenge. I want to thank them for taking part. We really appreciate them being good sports. That's the word on the square. This is Todd Book with On the Books. Thank you.